Hi guys, I'm back. Hopefully that thing will stay focused. Okay, this is take three <laughs> of the quote unquote Dutch pour. Uh, I'm trying something new today. We've got all Artist Loft colors using the Artist Loft Titanium White for the white. Um, and then Artist Loft Thalo Blue, Brilliant Magenta, Green Yellow, and Turquoise. And we're going to try um, something that I, I'm pretty sure originated with a lovely lady named Renska Downa. Uh, I hope I pronounced her name correctly. Um, I'll leave her name in the description below. So go check her out. Um, she does these lovely pours with the blow dryer. Uh, she uses paint and water. She mixes paint with water. She doesn't use anything else. Um, I did see a video or two where she actually added a little bit of Floetrol, but generally speaking, she uses just the paint and water. Um, yeah, so we're going to try that out and see if we can't get results similar to hers. Now, like I said, I've done two paintings already. Neither one of them really turned out well. The first one did okay, um, but the video was completely fuzzy the whole way through, so you guys didn't get to see that one. Um, so... Hopefully, third time's charm with this. And you don't need a lot of paint. Uh, so, we're going to try just using a little bit here. Oh, let's do the lime green next. And then a little bit of turquoise. Okay. Oh, I think I dragged one of my. <laughs> little containers of paint through there. Um, kind of want to do. Okay, let's leave it. Don't want to get it too complicated there. Let me make sure you guys are in focus. Oh yes, let's take that out of there because we don't want that in there. All right. So don't laugh when you see my hair dryer. I have to create my own uh, diffuser on the end of the hair dryer because I don't have one. So just don't laugh. Um, then next step is to pour white paint all around. Whoops, did not get that very well. That's okay. All right, and then <laughs> cross fingers. That's the next step. Cross fingers, and take your hair dryer and blow. Try to blow the white over. Um, I'm actually tempted to take a take a palette knife and scrape it over because the last couple times it's just all blown out this way so I think I'm gonna just kind of I know that's not what she did but we're gonna try it anyway a um, little differently we'll flip the paint over there we go and normally she takes the blow dryer and blows it over but every time I did that it blew all the paint off so we're gonna try a little different. And then we're gonna take the blow dryer and blow. Alright, well, I got a lot of white paint in there, probably from down below here. Um eh. Let's go ahead and pop all these bubbles popping up here. Really don't want to have to pop all these bubbles because bubbles make the cells look like cells come up. And I really don't want that in this. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is sh scrape this blue off. Because I was not intending on having blue on this corner. So you just scrape it off, what you don't want, if you don't like it. Take your white paint and pour it back over the parts that bother you. Okay. There we go. That's a little better. A little better so far. Now my colors are kind of, I wanted them to be a bit more bold. So maybe next time we won't, uh, I don't know, maybe next time not quite so much white or maybe a little, 
I'm going to try my paint a little thicker next time. She had her paints really thinned out, but I'm thinking that maybe mine were still a little too thin. And I hated to make them so thin. <laughs> it's, it was hard to make the paint so thin because, you know, it's not good for cell production. But I have to remind myself this is not for cells. So now I'm going to blow it a little bit. She does blow her edges a little bit um, if she doesn't like something. So we're going to blow some of the edges and see if maybe we can bring out a little bit more of this color. I don't know. I mean, I kind of, I kind of like the shape going on here, but it's, I don't know. We're kind of lacking something here. And there's some of our color under there. So maybe we can bring it in a little bit and leave that pail out there. Kind of also sells right there, but I don't know, I kind of like that. So we got a little heart going on there. Gotta maybe try and see if we can leave that. need to get rid of a little bit of this. So let's see if we can blow it in a little bit. I think I'm dragging my... Okay, we got to kind of turn it and look at it. I'm kind of liking this one. I feel like it needs a little bit more over here. Let's see if we can. Balance it out just a little bit. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> shoot okay that's okay no big deal we can try and fix that let's see well, it makes the color a little bit but it didn't do too much damage let you guys know how I am on very accident prone. There we go. I kind of balanced it out a little bit. Kind of, sort of. cool kind of like it I'm not liking still not liking this okay we've adjusted the adjusted it a little bit because I realized we were off center um, this is kind of bothering me so we're gonna scrape that off right there And I don't know, this whole section over here is kind of bothering me. I kind of want to just pour white through it. I 
That's sort of kind of better. <laughs> and that's bothering me, so let's get rid of that. There's an artist that does, well, she used to. I don't know if she really does it anymore. She used to do a painting, and then she'd scrape a lot of it off because she didn't like it. Um, and it was always, the painting was always better for it. She was really awesome at knowing what to scrape off and what to leave. Um, if I can remember, EM4D e Art, I believe, um, is her her channel. Ah. I have a plan. I'm going to blow this out a little bit, hopefully. Kind of blow that a little bit that way and maybe fix that. I hope. I want to cover over all that blue that was still sitting there and then we'll get back to our beautiful painting see if we can't see if we can't finish fixing it okay there's that so let's see what we need to do here I'm gonna try and not put my mouth on the painted end of the stick a little better than it was. Not so solid. Okay, that's better. Sorry if my head is in the way. There we go. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, I think I'm done. I want to kind of blow out that little pink a little bit. I don't like the static lines. So if you have a line that's too straight, it bothers me. That's better. Um, kind of want to blow out that little. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, now we've got a bunny right here. See the bunny? The eye and the ears. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's it. That is it. I like it. That's fun. All right, guys. Y'all have got to try this. Uh, I'm going to let it sit here for a few minutes, and then I'm just going to kind of try and blow the air bubbles out instead of torching it, because I don't want a lot of that. All these little cells that are there from the air bubbles, I don't want a bunch of those popping up. All right, let's get you down so you can see it a little better. And the close-up. Blowing paint around is always fun. And I love this area where it looks kind of like watercolor. Those are my favorite areas. And I kind of like the way the paint splattered. I think. I don't know. I might cover that up. I might take that out with some white. Just where the pretty colors blended together. And there's our little bunny right there. Our pink and green bunny. Sort of. He's an abstract bunny. And there where we fixed the bottom. 
and like this is where we kind of dropped the stick and we managed to fix it too so awesome <laughs> Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm probably going to get rid of these lines right there. Um, I don't know though. I kind of like them. I don't know. I'm going to have to stare at this for a few minutes and, and think about that, but not on camera. I know you guys don't want to watch me or listen to me staring at the painting. <laughs> so this is your pretty for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try and remember to attach pictures of the other two the first two on here but they're not anywhere close to as pretty as this one is so um so yeah <laughs> sorry about that guys um normally I i'll show my videos where i'm not so happy with the ending but um the first one was the, the video was messed up and the second one is just ugly so <laughs> so i'm not showing that one um yeah, I had to do a lot of blowing around to fix it, and it still is kind of eh. So, all right, there's your pretty for today. Thank you to all my subscribers, all my uh, viewers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, just reach down and subscribe and hit that little bell so you can see what kind of cool things we do. We do a lot of different stuff around here, some resin, some, um, you know, all different kinds of techniques of painting. You know, I don't know. Every once in a while, I'll do a... Uh, a palette knife painting. I haven't done one in a really long time, so maybe it's time for another one of those. So, um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you will. And um, thank you to everyone who's donated to my channel recently. And thank you to everyone for watching the ads. I greatly appreciate that. Um, it helps out my channel, uh, helps out everyone, you know, all the YouTube artists. If you watch their ads, it, it helps them out as well. So, um, if you don't mind, please watch our ads. Uh, I was just staring at the painting here. I've got a little heart there and a little heart right there. Um, okay, so, yeah. Um, check out my website. The link is below. If you'd like to donate to my channel, the link, my PayPal link is below as well. And um, any questions, comments, pictures you guys want to send me, um, please do so. My email address is also below. All right. Where you're, wherever you are on the planet. I hope you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. See you later. Bye. Okay, guys. This is the very first painting that I tried uh, with this method. And um, I didn't do a whole lot of blowing out of the pieces. A little bit here, a little bit there. And then um, I took away, there was some wispy stuff down here, so I took that away and then put some more white over and then blew into it just a little bit. Um, so I really like this one. Uh, I don't know, it's just, to me this one's really pretty, it's wispy, it's light, it's got the right amount of negative space, it, it feels balanced to me, so I like this one. Um, again, one of the few problems I don't like is where all the air bubbles kind of come up through there and leave these tiny little spots so uh, I don't really know what to do about that um, and then here is the second one I worked on and actually with this one I did a lot of work on after the fact because I really didn't like it um, it had so many of the tiny little cells in it that I took the straw and I just kind of kept blowing through it until I liked the composition because to me it looked like a tree um, so I blew some of this down here worked a little white in here so it made you know so it looks more like a um, you know like some rough bark through there and then you know the tree kind of comes down around here and up through there I I actually I don't really love this one because I can still see um, you know where the texture from the the cells are but I don't know. I mean, it gives it a little, little bit of a different. I don't know. Like I said, it gives it texture. So um, I actually kind of like this one. I call it Tree of Life. Um, I, I I like doing trees of life. So yeah, those are the two pieces. <laughs> so. Hopefully you like these two pieces. Um, I think they turned out pretty cool. They're very different from each other just because of the fact that, you know, one was one was blown out, and one 
you know, one was really blown out and then the other one was just a little bit wispy on the side. So, um, those are the two pieces. Actually, when I set them next to each other, they look like they kind of flow into each other. Um, but with that, because that one has the copper in it, they don't really go together. So, I hope you like these. Um, we'll see how flat they dry. They're not dry yet. Um, yeah. Okay, well... <laughs> See you later, bye.